Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Gridiron Extra Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. To my left, Dan Albano. To my right, Steve Fryer. Guys, we're talking about the CIF State Playoff System. Whatever you want to call it, bowl games, regionals, first round, and beyond. Uh, this year, Steve, more teams are involved, more divisions are involved than ever before. And you wrote a column about this last week in which you stated that up to 16 uh, games could be played by some of these teams. By the way, the CF Southern section voted against expanding this thing and, and, and all this stuff. But, you know, there's 10 sections in the state, and enough of them wanted this, this regionals and expanded things that to go that that it got passed but here's the deal the CIF leadership coaches everybody's talking about making football safer concussion protocol you know better better this better that to ensure the safety of the young people now if you've added two games to the season a 16 game season you've created more opportunities for concussion really bad injuries and that sort of thing so it's hypocritical isn't it guys that you know at one point you're talking about hey we got to make the game safer but then you create more opportunities for the kids get messed up I, I i don't i don't like it this system's been around since 2006 the state championships i mean before that we, we didn't really have there were only three divisions in 2006 now there's 13 and dan your argument is that the state regionals are kind of fun i i enjoy covering the state regionals uh, i always have um like seeing some different teams. I know why I can see why the Southern section maybe is not the biggest fan of it because, you know, and, and I agree, I see their point on this. You know, um, the Southern section is so competitive. The Southern section does a great job in the championships. You know, Centennial, uh, uh, Corona and Bosco just played in front of about 14,000 fans at Angel Stadium. All these games are on Fox. Um, so they have great championships. And you could, you could easily be uh, satisfied and done after that. I mean, you play great venues, uh, awesome competition, great rivalries. So the Southern section has it all, um, but I think I think the players do, uh, you know, want to keep playing. And uh, I'm I, I'm I think it's uh, I'm I support them uh, want to play. There's not that many of these teams that go on. We have four teams in Orange County. Um, there are growing it a little bit. You know, there's 13 divisions now, but there's not that many of these kids that go on. Um, I do wonder about the you know the double sports guys, the, the multi-sport athlete does hurt basketball, which I understand. Wrestling, yeah, wrestling. Um, so, but uh, I think uh, I think some of that could be solved by moving up the whole sports calendar up. Which I think that's a movement that there's a couple movements at front, fellas. The Southern Sec the, the CIF State they want to move the whole calendar up that will help this uh, multi-sport athlete. And the other thing that the state is clearly about is that they want to have. They want to make things as even uh, as possible, which I, I think is a good idea, between all sports. So while volleyball and basketball have tons of uh, state championship divisions for every uh, all these classes, tons of uh, state titles, and then you know football didn't have that many, so now they've created more, and they're trying to you know uh, get everybody a chance to keep on playing and not have people. There's they, what was happening in football is that there's some of the teams were uh, hey you're a great team and but you didn't get selected so you're you're, you're done now they're you know if you get on you got a chance to play on so right. all the CIF yeah, champions get a chance to play on your counterpoint football is different than you know nobody's going to make a movie in Hollywood about the concussion problem in volleyball okay they they did one about football you know this is a, this is a, a a pretty bad problem and uh, and I just don't like this opportunity to give kids you know one more chance to get messed up I, I just think it's it's not good. Um, uh, it's just uh, it's just a little bit of too much activity, you know. It is ba it's basketball time, man. It's time to go in the wrestling room for all you big linemen who are in wrestling. It's time to you know go out there and work on your shot in basketball. Uh, and then if we talk about moving the calendar, the sports calendar back to what? Now we're going to have opening football games on August 17th or something. So you're going to have games where the kid the school's not even started yet. You're going to have games played without 40 people in the stands because the kids aren't even in school. They're not into it. Most of them are probably still on vacation someplace or are on athletes. And, you know, what happened, what happened to summer vacation for families and things like that? It's, it's, uh, this is, it's too much. Whatever, whatever happened to early holiday shopping? That's what I want to know, guys. I mean, Fair holidays life. are coming up. Are, yeah. You, Dan. One thing they did, you know, in all fairness, uh, you know, what, what, what happened this year for the football players is that, you know, there was – there's uh, – there was less hitting. They had new rules, new practice rules that came in that were designed, you know, to help you know the safety of the kids. And that was a big change. And they practice less, they hit less, you know. And there's a lot of technology still at, uh, um, you know, being developed. And you know, there, you know, people that are tracking hits and blows to the head, and you know, the way it's officiated. So uh, the, the helmets. There's a lot of different kinds of uh, helmets that kids are wearing. The 
the the the halos, the guardian stuff. So um, there's you know there, there's I think they can try to find a balance is what I'm you know, I'm hoping for. And of course we want guys to be safe, um, but I hope there can be a balance because I think the players. Uh, really get excited to try to to win a state title. Say you're state champs, and you know uh, so many other states have great state playoffs. And what can, maybe could happen? Maybe another way in the balance is you know uh, you, know, you hear so much about the state championships in Texas, and you know they're going to have the state championships in Texas, and they're going to be at you know the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Play another game and fly them out to Texas. Why gonna, not? You know, no. They get five thousand, and maybe what the you know Southern section needs to do uh, is maybe they have to uh, play like nine game seasons, regular season. Maybe take one of those non league games away. You respect the leagues, and or maybe take two of those non-league games away. But I think the, uh, the the appeal of the state championship is something I think there's a lot of interest in. All right, Dan's take, Steve's take, my take. I'll be there Friday night covering these games. All right, thanks to Dan Albano, thanks to Steve Fryer. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, and for all your latest football updates this weekend, check out ocvarsity.com, where we've got you covered.